My name is Lorenzo Harrell. I'm involved with the Incarcerated Children Advocacy Network because I am a child who was incarcerated at 17 years old and served 26 years in prison for murder. In 1997, I just didn't like the person that I had become. Uh, and I'm talking about my, my entire life. I didn't like that person. I, I wanted to shed that skin. So I began to transition my life in 1997. And part of my transition was saying that instead of hurting people, I'm gonna start helping people. And that became my battle cry. Like if I saw somebody in need, I would try to help them as best I can and stuff like that. And Braille, it kind of like fell straight to me. Braille transcription is transcribing any language into the Braille dots where a person who cannot see can feel and read. It was one of the ways that I can help people and give back, but it also was on a broader scale because the, the, the work that we was producing was being distributed to the people out in society. And one of the things that I used to take pride in is people writing back, in particular blind people writing back, or teachers or facilitators who help children learn the Braille or taught them the education that we was transcribing to Braille. I love receiving their letters, their, their letters of thanks. But that was just a way for me to feel like I'm doing something, I'm contributing to society, I'm making the world a better place. It's just my way of just giving back. It's giving back and loving what I do and knowing that it's helping someone and it's helping contribute to a better world. I think that it's important for people to look at me and see that there's many more left behind like me, greater than me, um, that deserve the same opportunity that I was given. I am a strong believer that the minute a person becomes rehabilitated, the very second after that, the very second of jail time after that becomes torture because there's no sense in incarcerating someone who, for the most part, will probably never offend again, who will come out and be a contributor factor to society, who will come out and help rebuild communities.